All right, so in talking about uh, the rectangular approximation method here, or RAM for short, this breaks down into three cases, the first of which is called LRAM, or left endpoint RAM. Sketching x squared looks something like this over the interval from 0 to 2, where this point up here would be the point 2, 4. What we're going to do here is we're going to break up the interval from 0 to 2 into 4 subintervals. Now, if I break up this interval from 0 to 2 into 4 subintervals, all right, each one of those intervals is going to have a length that is one half. So now what I do is I take the left endpoint of each subinterval and I'm going to make a rectangle out of that subinterval with the left endpoint determining the height. So the left endpoint at zero is just at zero, zero. So I basically have a rectangle with a height of zero. Then I go to a half, and so, so at a half, uh, the height of the rectangle is going to be whatever f at one half is, and then at one, the height's going to be whatever f at one is, and then at three halves, the height is going to be whatever f at three halves is. All right, and we're going to approximate the area under the curve that way. So to actually figure this out, it's going to be the width of the rectangle, which is a half in all cases, times the function evaluated at the left end point, which the first one is f at 0, and then f at 1 half, and then f at 1, and then f at 3 halves. All right, so computing this, uh, we get half times f at 0. So again, 0 is going into this function here. And so if we put in 0 for x squared, we just get 0. If we put in a half for x squared, we get 1 fourth. If we put in 1 for x squared, we get 1. If we put in 3 halves for x squared, we get 9 fourths. So evaluating this using LRAM, we approximate the area under x squared from the interval from 0 to 2 would be 7 fourths.